Hey guys, Damien here from Gizby.com and ChinaPhoneArena.com. How you doing? What we're going to do today is flash the Zook C2, the official factory Zook ROM. The reason we're doing that is because sometimes these phones come with what they call a shop ROM. And that shop ROM is generally not OTA updatable. Now, there's a common misconception that these ROMs come from the shop. They don't. They're actually created by the manufacturer so that the shops can sell them internationally. Well, whatever the case, before you start this guide, there are three important things you need to have done. One is that you've downloaded the driver set. You can see I have mine downloaded and extracted to the desktop. The second thing is that you need the factory ROM downloaded and extracted to a place where you know where it is. And the last thing is that you need USB debugging enabled on the phone. Look down in the description and you guys will see a link to the full written guide, which includes links to everything you need there. It includes links to the factory ROM, the drivers that you need, and also instructions on how to set your Zook C2 to debugging mode. Once you have all those things done and ready to go, you can continue with the tutorial here. So now I'm going to assume you guys have those and are ready to go. We're going to go ahead and the first thing we're going to click on here is the MI Flash. This is the first thing we're going to install. This is going to install MI Flash. And it will also install the drivers that we need to install or to flash the ROM. So I'm, I just put three here because I already have it installed. So I'm just installing to a different directory. And then it's going to go through just a couple of different things here. It's going to install a Qualcomm driver. Uh, you can see right now it's installing the WinUSB. Now, my opinion, while it's doing this, uh, I'm going to let you guys know. Uh, I'm also going to install the official Zook driver. However, my opinion is that probably you don't need it, but I'm going to, we're going to install it anyways. Go ahead. If you see this pop up, install this driver anyways. And go ahead, you're going to see this pop up again. It's going to install another driver there. Go ahead and install that. This is the Qualcomm driver. And then once you're done, just click this again, saying OK. Then we're going to go ahead and install the Zook USB. As I said, we probably don't need this uh, for our purposes. However, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyways, uh, just in case I'm incorrect here. Go ahead and click Next. Next. And then Next. And bam, that installs rather quickly there. And this I have Komodo here, so make sure if you have a, any type of pop-up from your firewall, you allow that. I'm installing it, uh, selecting this file to install as an installer, giving it permissions as an installer. You can go ahead and trust that is that is direct from Lenovo from Zook. I go ahead and click finish there, and then, then the last thing we're going to do is ADB setup. This is what allows us to boot into a mode that will allow the phone to be flashed. Go ahead and click yes here. It's going to install. If you already had these installed, of course, you don't have to do it again. But uh, if you don't, go ahead and install those. Yes, you want to put yes. to. There's three questions here, just yes to all of them. It's installing the ADB command set uh, system-wide, so you can issue ADB commands from any, uh, any folder. Go and click yes. This is actually installed the Google driver again. So this might be the third time we've installed the uh, Google Inc. driver. That's OK. Don't worry about it. Should be fine. Go ahead and close that again. Now, the next thing we're going to do, when we install that, the last install there, install ADB to our C slash ADB drive. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to that now. Your phone should be unplugged, by the way. I should have mentioned that in the beginning. Your phone should be unplugged. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to shift and right click. You have to hold shift and then select right click, open command window here. Okay, now at this point, guys, I, if you haven't already turned on ADB debugging mode on your Zook C2, we need you to be in ADB debugging mode, or you need to turn that option on on your phone. Okay, at this point, you're going to go ahead and plug your phone in, and make sure you pay very close attention to your phone. Uh, assuming you have already turned on USB debugging, you should see some sort of pop-up coming up on your phone requesting ADB debugging permissions for your PC. Go ahead and make sure you allow that. And once you've done that, you can go ahead here, type ADB devices. Now, at this point, if you see your device come up, uh, you're not going to have to worry about this very next part. But if you don't see it come up, go ahead and do what I'm doing here. 
ADB kill server and then ADB start server. What that's doing is resetting the server. And again, pay attention to your phone here. If you haven't already allowed your debugging permissions from your PC, that should pop up on your display there. Now go ahead and type ADB devices. Again, you should see your phone come up there. See how it says devices before it was blank and now we have it up and it's authorized. Go ahead and type ADB reboot EDL. That's emergency download mode. Your phone should then at that point shut off and reboot into EDL mode. Your phone should have a blank screen at this point. I'm going to go ahead and open MI Flash now. And I think I got ahead of myself here. Yeah, it's going to open several times, I believe. Patience, patience. That that is a virtue. Okay, we're going to go ahead and close these two. I opened the uh, opened it too many times. Close this. We're going to allow that. Yes, if it has permissions, and then bam, you see this come up. This is actually the flashing screen, the MI Flash. I know it's funny we're using a Xiaomi Flasher for our Zook. However, uh, this one is really easy to use. It's easy to use in the official Qualcomm one, so we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Now we're gonna direct it to the downloads, and you can see here, I'm not exactly sure where I downloaded it to, but we're gonna find it here. Go down and I believe I did it in the D drive, and into downloads, there it is. Go ahead and select that folder, and hit OK, and then go ahead and hit refresh at the top here and assuming your phone has been correctly detected you should see it bam just show up right there see this mean that this showed up that means it's detecting a device and now what i do i select i, I select flash all except storage you can probably do any of these however if i usually do uh, flash all except storage you can also try and save your bad data by doing flash all except data and storage and then go ahead and t hit flash there and it should hello packet and start to go. And we're going to fast forward through this. You can see it's it's flashing. It's a rather long process. I believe it takes about four minutes total uh, for me. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this. <laughs> Okay, guys, your phone has now successfully flashed once that green bar hits all the way to the end there. Go ahead and unplug the phone from the PC and go ahead and hold that power button on your Zook C2. I have noticed that it takes a bit longer to actually start up that first time after a flash, normally about 10 seconds of holding the power button. However, assuming all went well, it should be booting fine. Guys, subscribe to the channel. That's what keeps these videos coming. We're going to have more reviews coming up every week. Damien, over and out.